Salam and hello everybody. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you're all doing really well. Alhamdulillah. I'm very well, thank you. So welcome to my latest video, which is a mega meal prep. I said mega because it just seemed like I prepped a lot and it took a while. So I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. Obviously, after you've seen it, I mean, you don't have to yet. You might not even like it, but yeah, that'd be wonderful if you could. Yeah, the kids are still at home from school, so lots of eating. And I thought, let's have a meal prep day and uh, sort a couple of things out so that there's food in the house and there's snacks available so that I'm not constantly thinking of what to make them for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So before I actually did any snacks and lunch bits, I made a load of curry base, something I've been doing for a while. I took a little break. Uh, but I'm back on it but basically I make like the curry base for a couple of curries and it just saves time every day for dinner well on the days that we have a curry um, it saves a lot of time because you can just use that curry base or tarka to make a curry so you can add your chicken or lamb or veg or whatever you want to add or fish and uh, you don't need to chop up all your onions and tomatoes because you do it all in one day. So I make enough for four curries. Just follow the amounts that I add on screen and the method and uh, hopefully you can do the same. So I was just chopping up a lot of onions. Uh, I love this uh, little chopper because it chops the onions really fast. So I've added sunflower oil to a pan on like a medium high heat and then just add in the chopped onions and cook them until they're a little bit soft. And then add in a load of tomatoes. And then I just leave the onions and tomatoes cooking along nicely with some water added for about 30 minutes on a medium heat until the tomatoes are soft. You could also blend or uh, chop the tomatoes in the little chopper, but I don't know why I just like to put them in um, not too chopped. Don't know why makes sense not sure but there you go <laughs> so what i decided to do we had a load of veg and i don't like to waste i don't like to have veg just sat in the fridge and i like it prepped so that if i'm cooking a meal for example i might cook a chicken curry i might want to add a particular veg to it like some peppers or some potatoes or some aubergines and i don't like the preparation part so to save myself the hassle I decided to cut a load of veg on this day and then put it into freezer bags. When I use it throughout the week, I can just pull out a bag of veg and add it to my curry or whatever meal I'm going to make. So my thinking is just get all your chopping done in one go, pop it into the freezer. It'll save you the hassle of chopping every day. I put the veg on some kitchen roll to dry the veg a little bit before freezing. So I chopped up the veg while the onions and tomatoes was cooking and uh, as you can see it's cooked nicely, it's nice and soft. 
and here's the spices and the salt that I add to the curry base so first of all add the garlic and ginger paste and then add in your spices and salt and I'm just mashing the tomatoes a little bit more because they're nice and soft and just mix everything really well let it cook for a couple more minutes and then just turn the heat off and allow it to cool completely in the pan so the next thing i did was prepare a filling for some burritos i thought these would be perfect for especially for lunch time so make a big batch of burritos so first of all i soaked some rice uh, for the burritos in some cold water and left that for about 30 minutes i then chopped a load of uh, sweet potatoes so if you're worried that your veg is going to go off like a lot of the times we might have some extra onions or potatoes that are about to go off it's a good idea to cut them up and put them in the freezer and then um, preserve them for a little bit longer right so what was i doing next yeah i decided to chop some onions as well and uh, first of all there was a really noisy helicopter now there's what even is that is it a lawnmower is it a drone i can't tell but they're disturbing me <laughs> anyway let's get back to this i cut up some onions as well red onions to freeze sounds like someone's drilling something actually And then I carried on making my filling for the burritos or preparing the ingredients. So I used two red onions, a bell pepper, a red, green and yellow one and some tomatoes. I love this chopper. I've mentioned it before, but a lovely subscriber gifted it to me to my P.O. box. By the by, I currently don't have a P.O. box address. It's something I need to purchase again or sign up for. So I'll let you know when i do in case you want to give me another one of these no i'm joking <laughs> in case you want to send me something to review so mainly for businesses don't send any gifts guys especially in these difficult times thank you so much save your money inshallah but yeah i don't have a p.o box at the moment anyway i'll let you know i'll update you if i do get a new address you know for small businesses and stuff uh, but anyway where was i yeah i love this chopper and I you wanted to help me and um, just be really careful if you've got something similar or if you buy it um, it's really sharp and with those little hands they can easily get trapped but anyway yeah we went ahead team effort to chop up all the veg for the burritos And there's our lovely diced and chopped veg and then i was able to go ahead and uh, make the filling for the burrito so i had a load of chicken mince i popped that into a pan with a bit of sunflower oil and then cooked the mince till it was white and kind of dryish and then these are the spices and salt ginger and garlic paste and tomato puree i added to the mince Once the mince was cooked and I'd added the spices and salt, I added in all the veg. And how lovely and colourful does that look, mashallah. For a bit of extra flavour, I added in the juice of uh, half a lemon. And that was uh, the burrito filling ready, apart from the rice that I was going to add in as well. So this is how I normally make my rice. I use basmati rice because... It seems to cook nice and it's just something I'm used to having. The next thing I prepared was a load of uh, chicken niblets, tandoori style. So just add all of those ingredients on screen to a large mixing bowl. Give them a nice mix. Add in some Greek yogurt 
and then add in all your chicken niblets and coat them all really well in the marinade pop them into a freezer bag that's done and uh, the curry sauce had cooled fully by now so i split it into four and i was going to use one portion on that day so i left it in the pan for the rest of it i separated it into three containers and then put them into the freezer to be used at a future date next i prepared a load of peri peri chicken wings yeah the chicken bits that i prepared and marinated they're so useful to just chuck in the oven and have with some rice or chips and yeah, it's definitely worth um, preparing them when you're doing meal prep some kind of like chickeny dish with some kind of marinade so these were peri peri style you could easily add more coating or sauces on the day but for a basic marinade they were just fine so yeah coat them with everything that was on screen and um, pop them into a freezer bag next i made this delicious chicken tikka filling this was actually for some um, pasties so i got some puff pastry sheets and um, yeah i was gonna add this filling in them and uh, spoiler alert they were delicious <laughs> all finished now but anyway yeah pop the chicken into a pan uh, like a frying pan yeah i cut it into quite small pieces because i wanted to put in the uh, puff pastry sheets and i didn't want like really big chunks and add in all the ingredients as you go uh, while it's cooking and it just turns out really nice actually mashallah if you really want to you can marinate it first and then just chuck it in the pan but yeah it was easy enough like that next i made this uh, interesting concoction uh, like i'm calling them kebab wheels um they were tasty actually mashallah there's still some left I'm making the kebab uh, mixture first of all so it's basically some kebabs in like some tortilla wraps mini tortilla wraps with a little bit of mozzarella cheese the only thing is what I do differently next time partly cook the kebabs first because when I put them in the uh, oven or sandwich toaster they were still a little bit raw I'd have to cook them for longer and uh, the tortillas were getting a little bit burnt so to solve that issue cook them slightly first or you can just toast them for longer but then you run the risk of burning them a little but they're interesting and they do taste really nice mashallah they're perfect for like parties and stuff and um, to keep them closed i had to use toothpicks so it's like a work in progress So I'm just basically using a cookie cutter to make the kebab shapes, popping them into the center of um, these mini tortilla wraps, topping with some mozzarella cheese and then uh, stacking them using toothpicks and then I froze them. And uh, yeah, I do cook them. You see at the end of the video um, what they look like cooked. But yeah, like I mentioned, just make sure they're not raw inside. So this was actually the following day because uh, your girl, me, was tired and it was late. Yeah, the following morning I just finished off the bits that I hadn't done. So I compiled the burritos. So I just fluffed up the rice again by giving it a good mix. Pop the rice and the mince filling into the tortilla wraps. I did some sauce. With some I added some chilli sauce and with some I didn't add any sauce at all because of the kids i didn't want to make it too spicy for them and yeah we made a nice batch of uh, burritos and these have been really handy i 
I had some spare rice, so no waste. Pop them into some small containers and they're still in the freezer to be used on another day. So the chicken tikka filling, I actually added some uh, spring onion and some sweet corn. And uh, it was actually a lovely mixture. So just cut your puff pastry sheets into six sections. Top with some cheddar cheese. Mozzarella is also nice, isn't it? And then just uh, pop some water on the edge to make it a little bit stickier and use a fork to crimp or press the edge. And there they are, nice and ready. I actually popped them onto a baking tray and popped them in the freezer before I like finally uh, put them away into a freezer bag just so they didn't stick together when I did put them in a freezer bag. So yeah, lay them flat on a baking tray and leave them in the freezer for maybe an hour or two before putting them into a freezer bag. And it was morning and breakfast time and I thought I'd make a batch of waffles this is the recipe for like the basic waffles and you can add whatever to them So I actually added some blueberries and strawberries and uh, some Nutella and they were really delicious, mashallah, a bit messy. I should have actually added the blueberries and strawberries into the waffle mixture instead of putting it on top. It would have been less messy that way, but I was tired as well. <laughs> I think I was fed up with cooking by this point. Because <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it was a little bit tricky to get them out of the waffle maker. I made myself a much needed mug of tea and enjoyed my breakfast. And then later that day, I popped the chicken tea capacities into a freezer bag and popped them in the freezer and they were fine, like they weren't stuck together after that. And this was another day um, where I actually baked the pasties and I'm just coating them with an egg wash. Here's the kebab wheels. So I'm just kind of separating them. I cooked them in the sandwich toaster, which was okay, but like I said, they were a bit raw in the center. So I had to uh, put them back in the sandwich toaster for a while longer. And um, I also tried them in the oven. But anyway, I really hope you found this useful. I hope you enjoyed watching. I gave you some ideas. Jazakallah, thank you so much. Inshallah, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Salam. Bye.